Well, it was a uh, like college basketball game. It was like games of runs. First period was them, second period was us, third period was them, fourth period was us, and then they win the shootout. So um, back and forth, two teams battling with a lot on the line, a lot of pride that, um, you know, unfortunately we lose in a shootout, but um, happy with a lot of things about our game. Still showed some things to work on. You guys had chances, obviously, especially you know, the Hayers breakaway. In the second period, you controlled offensive zone time and, and in overtime as well. Uh, was there anything that you, was there any point in that game where you felt like you, you, were, you guys were going to pull out pull out the win? Yeah, every point, every point in the game, I felt. You know, our goaltender played really well, but he's a part of our team and team defense and goaltending can can win a lot of games. And we had uh, really um, some moments of desperation, but we had it in us. We, we we competed really hard. We blocked some big shots. We you know, and you never know how you measure um, a big save. Saves made a couple of those. So, um, but their goalie also made a couple of big saves. So I felt, you know, as long as it was zero zero, we were one shot away from uh, from taking a lead in that game. Uh, to this weekend, and you're back home again. Uh, you guys, I'm sure you guys like that. Uh, but your first look at Colgate and Cornell, kind of a scheduled quirk this being this late in the year. But uh, what have you seen from from these clubs, especially Colgate coming up Friday? Yeah, Colgate. I mean, they had a big win against Cornell last weekend, and. You know they've they've had games that they've uh, they played really well in and games that they've wanted to win and in a lot of ways it might be close to the way our season has been so um, right near each other in the standings and a chance for us to um, to climb. You know you guys seem to be you know just uh, you know, pretty close against Yale last time you were here uh, the the three two it seemed like you had the better of the chances again. Um, What's what's going to be important for you guys, especially coming out Friday night, to, to have a good start and to know that you, you have the ability to, to pick up two points there? Yeah, right now the, the challenge for this group and for our group is consistency. We, um, we, we've, our standard is the bottom is, is much higher than it's been um, and the top is much higher than it's been, but we've got to, got to keep that consistency up. We just have to you know, drive harder, more consistently, find those um, when it's harder, we've got to find a way to, to get to the net. We've got to find a way to break the puck out. We've got to find a way to have our game, to force our game upon the other the other team, the opponent. Yeah, we played well. We played well in spurts, I think. It was a game of momentum swings, and obviously they had a few, and we had a few back, so that was good. Uh, mental toughness on our part, but obviously neither team could score, so it wasn't uh, the best ending, but it was a good game. Uh, for you guys this weekend, uh, back home again, kind of sticking around, uh, you talked about before last weekend, but uh, how important is it for you guys to you know be playing some playing your best hockey this time around? Um, yeah, we've been playing well lately. Uh, we just haven't really gotten the results, as Coach was saying. Uh, we haven't been rewarded yet, so we just got to keep uh, going here, keep our nose to the grindstone, and keep working until we get our result we want. Uh, Colgate's a team that you know knocked you guys out of the, the playoffs last year. It was a good series out there. Uh, is there anything you take away from last time you guys played them, or you feel like you're you're a different team and they're a different team? Um, we're pro we're a different t team, definitely, and so are they. Uh, like Brady Whiffin and I were hurt during this series, so we watched a lot of it. So um, I think we know what to expect as a team, but uh, I think both teams are different than last year. And uh, just down the home stretch here, what what are some of your some of your guys' goals? Uh, uh, you know, obviously home ice would be big, but. Just you know, to be playing your best hockey down the stretch is probably where you want to be. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you obviously want to be ramping up once you get towards playoffs. Um, we want to win every game we play in, but uh, just starting to win a few games here and there uh, will definitely help us in the standings. And uh, if we can get a home playoff seed, that'd be great. The you know, scoring chances are a byproduct of how you play or how the other team plays. So it's not like you can just back a dump truck up to the to the ice and say, all right, this is where your chances are going to come from. So if you play consistently hard, you consistently win battles, then you fill the dump truck up with chances by how you play and how you put the other team on their heels. But um, there's systems and there's intangibles and um, we, we've we been creating a lot of chances. We got out chanced against Union, but um, we've been winning the chance game and that's one of the first steps people will say, if you're not scoring, are you getting chances? And we've been getting really good chances. We just need to capitalize on them. And that's, that's winning battles and how we play together and the intensity and the passion with which we come to the game. And we've, we've, we've got to continue to keep that at a high level. Uh, you guys have, you know, the, the scoring, it seemed like it was picking up. You, you know, scored five against, against UConn and the games a couple of games before that, you had six against St. Lawrence. Uh, and then, then Hazy, you know, had a couple of, three games in a row now without a point. 
I know he doesn't directly relate to your total, I guess, output, but does does him not to picking up points and you guys not scoring as many goals correlate at all, or is it you need the, the, the team more often than just him? Yeah, Jacob Hayhurst has been having a terif- terrific year, and he's he's a big part of our offense, but he can't be all of our offense. So if he goes dry, then other guys need to step up, and um, that's that's common in every sport. You know, if the the bottom of your order in, in baseball starts getting hot, and that's great when the top isn't, but you can't win if everybody goes cold at the same time. And we've had too many moments where um, we've all gone cold. And, and again, we address that with how often we get to the net and how often we get pucks to the net. And we've settled in on some lines that we like. I really like the, uh, you know, Lepinen, uh, Tour Linden, Laka line has been good. And I think the Morello, uh, Whiffen, Gorno line has been has been excellent. So, um, you know, we want those guys to produce as well. Uh, not getting too many power play chances, does it put more pressure on the guys that are on the power play, or do you try to take that off as far as what you say to them? Because if you only get one or two chances in a game and you don't score, you say, well, the power play was over. Uh, you know, how do you kind of address that? Well, it's one of those, one of those uh, quirks in, in the statistical keeping of it. You go 0 for 1, you are 0 for the night. Um, we scored a power play goal against Yale, but it was two seconds after the power play had elapsed, so it doesn't count as a power play goal. And even post game, I said that's not we didn't score on the power play, but statistically we didn't. Yeah. So it does put pressure on the power play, and we we need our power play to be better. We need we need to be crisper. We need to outwork them. We need to generate more shots. And uh, if we do those things, then we will have more success. We got in a nice groove and a nice rhythm against. UConn, and you could see what confidence in shooting the puck did, uh, does, because I think Burge had five shots that night and, and scored a power play goal.